Okay, good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Olivia, and I am a bikini competitor, online coach, and posing coach. And welcome back to my channel and another video, another episode of the Bikini Prep 2023 series. I have something to tell you, but I can't do it alone. So we're gonna go get John, and I need to confess something to you guys because. I've lied to you. So, um, you're going to be looking at me in PJs for the next while because it is November in Ireland. It's freezing. It's so cold. Um, okay. Where do I start? I lied to you. If you've watched my last two videos, I kind of gave you a rundown of our plans going forward, how I'm staying in prep until John has finished his last show next week, mm -hmm. which is true, his last show is next week, um, but I'm staying in prep until after that because we do have a photo shoot booked, which we also do, but competition prep is not over. Both John and I are currently... One day out. One day out. We are competing tomorrow. Yeah. And we're competing together. Hence why I have been very hesitant about actually telling you the real plans. Um, why I haven't really been sharing my food with you and my cardio protocols because I've been still in prep all this time. Yes. It is my last show of the season. I promise you it is my last show. It is PCA Ireland or PCA Galway. Or is it? It is. I'm done with lying. <laughs> I'm done with lying. I've lied enough. Um, it is the show I've done two years in a row where I have taken the overall win in two years in a row. So the pressure is there. And that is also why I didn't want to be telling everyone. Like, apart from my coach, John, and my family, and some close friends, and my gym, nobody knows. None of the people competing know that I'm going to just show up there. Um, nobody knows John is just going to show up there with me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're competing tomorrow. Yeah, we're competing tomorrow. Together. And we have to do full body shave again. We have to get tanned on again. Okay, that's for later. Um, so, yeah, it is my last show as a junior. It is John's ever first ever PCA show. Yeah. So his second show, obviously, he competed last weekend, which you would have seen the vlog. And if you haven't, click back and watch the vlog. As an NPC. It was Two Bros Naturals, then now we're both going into PCA. Obviously, I will give you my thoughts and feelings, and John will give you his thoughts and feelings later on today, but I'll give you a little rundown of today. This is obviously a one day out vlog. Um, first of all, I hope you can forgive me for not being honest with you. And John, you lied too. Um, if I'm so you, sorry. If you do forgive us, please make sure to drop the video, like, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share with a friend, and yeah, plan of action for today. It is a typical one day out kind of situation. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to dive too deep into water loading and salt cutting and water cutting because all of that is covered in my previous videos. But protocols are fairly similar. I'm on six liters of water. You're on six. Six liters of water. Cutoff time for you is 3 p.m. Yeah. For me, it's 5 p.m. because we're looking at about 2.30 stage time tomorrow. Um, we're both getting our tan done around the same time. I'm 4.30, he's 5, so obviously we will bring you to tan. But right now, the plan of action is I have a lot of work to do. Um, John's about to get his first meal, and we will show you all of our meals today. Unfortunately, we'll be eating at different times. So yeah, sad. you're going to see about 10 meals today. Um, but I know you love seeing what bodybuilders eat, so there's that. Especially at the carbo. Especially he is carving up for me. It's going to be a bit of a different approach. You'll see some carbs and some no carb meals. Um, same for you. Mm. Yeah. So obviously we'll show you all that as we go. Um, so plan of action, you need to get your first meal in soon. Mm -hmm. I need to get my client check-ins done because it is a Saturday. It's a very busy check-in day, especially after welcoming um, on board my coaching giveaway client who has been doing amazing. And I think I forgot to mention, I do have two of my posing clients competing tomorrow with me as well. So obviously they need to be taken care of today. Posing check-ins. If they feel like it, I told them they can just pop down to the house before after tan if they do want that last little look at their posing. Obviously I will be backstage with them tomorrow as well. Um, but yeah, then we have to head to the gym. We're going to go in for our last pump sessions. 
your last pump session of this prep for this show, mm -hmm. my last pump session All of together. prep, full stop. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of glutes and a bit of delts. Uh, we'll film our sessions. We're going to head into the gym because we did hear the gym has some nice goodies for us. Um, some merch and some supplements. So I'll do a massive unboxing or whatever it is that they give us. I'll do an unboxing when we get home. Uh, the supplements, I do kind of know what they are because I do get a little allowance for the, from them um, every month. So I kind of choose, but obviously I haven't seen them yet. So... We'll go to the gym, we'll get our pump sessions in, we'll pick up the boxes, uh, we'll pick up the gifts and we'll pop back on and obviously we will see you at John's first meal. Is there anything you'd like to add to this intro? This is our first show that we're competing together. Yeah. Yeah. And it's my first season so I'm going it's to, not typical. It's not typical. No. Um, to be honest I wasn't really going to do that show. I was pushing John into doing it. I was pushing John into doing it. She decided to do, to do it first. Um, but I wasn't going to do it. Um, mm. Full transparency here. This prep has been very expensive and I couldn't really afford this show. But I do have the best coach ever. So let's just say he made it possible. He was like, it's your last show as a junior. Let's go out with a bang. Let's have fun. I mean, you're staying in prep till John has finished his shows anyway why not jump in it's in our hometown we forgot to mention that mm. it's literally a 10 road. minute drive down the road so it would be rude not to do it and i had an amazing experience doing a show at home last year so yes we'll be competing together um are we doing it for the pictures or do we actually want to compete we don't know bit of, bit of both i want all the experience no. a bit of both after um, the last show i want all the experience and obviously i say no expectations but obviously everybody wants to win yeah. That's why you do these shows. You don't expect to win, but obviously you want to win. Imagine if we walk out with two swords tomorrow. I have two of those swords already. So Imagine if we add two more to the house. There's just won't be any place to put them. I still haven't found a place for my medals from last week's show, so... Yeah, no. no See, our house, our house is set up for viewings because we are in the process of selling, so... Things have to be put away for a little while. But when we move out, there's going to be a wall, wall dedicated to it. Yeah. But anyway... So that's the POA for today. Again, I'm very sorry for lying to you. Um, at the same time, I'm not because I'm sure I kept the excitement up and I cannot wait to tell everybody on Instagram. But they're gonna have to wait till show day. And speaking of show day, it is gonna be a two day event, obviously for us being one day out and a lot happening today because mm -hmm. it's also Olympia weekend. So whatever we're doing, we have the Olympia playing in the background. Yeah. Um, and there's just gonna be a lot happening. So it is going to be two vlogs. I've decided. I don't want to keep them super long because I just know you don't watch till the end. So we're going to do two vlogs. Um, obviously tomorrow is going to be a show day vlog and all the post show food we're going to eat. And we are going to be prepping some of that post show food tonight. So you'll get a little, little sneak peek of what we're going to be having. But obviously for the post show eats, you're going to have to stay tuned to the show day vlog. So we'll leave it here mm -hmm. and we'll catch you at your first meal. Because I have another hour and a half to like and eat, so I'm gonna dive straight into checking. I'm so hungry. Okay, so this is my first meal of the day. It is two bagels, two low fat medallions, one egg, well, three eggs, but I made eggy bread. It's amazing. And 15 grams of honey. Oh, it's easily the best meal of the day. So I'm gonna eat this up and catch you at the first meal. Olivia's first meal. By the way, this is my first time holding the camera like this, so yeah, I'm new to this. Quick client check and break, and I've got my first meal. A nice bowl of oats. Oats have been reintroduced. We've got 45 grams of oats, 50 grams of banana, 15 grams of nut butter, and two grams of salt. Surprisingly, there's actually no protein with this meal but I don't mind because this is going to be my pre-workout meal because we're going to be heading to the gym in the next hour, I say. Um, so I actually don't mind having no protein for training. That's something I've noticed in my last peak week because we did that and my stomach just feels so much better going into training. Now, obviously the oats are bland with no protein, no protein powder, but obviously I haven't been doing protein powder for weeks anyway. Like the protein he gave me during the week in my oats was chicken <coughs> or egg whites. So there wasn't much flavor anyway, sweet cinnamon saving the day. But anyway, I'm gonna eat this, have another coffee, finish kind check-ins, and I will see you in the gym. It's gym time. 
to where it all began for us. And it's fucking freezing. Yeah, it's fucking cold. I'm not gonna show you the meal. It's literally just rice, chicken, and a squares bar and salt, two grams of salt. I'm three liters of water deep, so I actually need to slow down um, because I have a good few hours to get my water in. But I need to sit back at the laptop anyway, get more work done, more check-ins came through, so I have to finish them off. And then, and then yeah, I have to check in at half one and have the shower before we go off to tan. So next time I'll see you will probably be either at my next check-in or my next meal. We'll see. We'll see what today takes us. 
We also popped into the Polish shop. I got a few treats from my coach because I always get him treats from the Polish shop. He loves the Polish treats. So I always do that for our last show of the season. So that's what I did. But yeah, eat, chill, repeat. So I'm just slowly getting ready for tan. I took my final shower, scrubbed everything, and I'm just in my onesie and I've got some fluffy socks on. But before I get my next meal in, because it's nearly time to eat again, I'm gonna show you all the supplements that I got from the warehouse gym. Hefty little box. And I'm just gonna pop myself on the bed and show you. So yeah, let's see what we got in here. So as I said, I get an allowance. Um, it's not massive, but it does help a lot. So I get a little allowance for supplements and I can just order from their wholesalers. So obviously everything is discounted. But what we've normally done, we'd order like all the flavors of protein and you know, some fun bits. And then we'd still end up spending so much money on essentials. So I've decided to stock up on all the essentials that I can. So I get an amount per month, but the minimum order is another amount. I can order once every four months. So I've pretty much stocked up for four months for certain things. And it's going to be massive help because these things add up like 20 here, 20 there, 30 there, 40 there. And it just adds up to like a 200 euro order every month for us. So I just kind of thought of myself and of John and I just ordered some staples, some essentials, some things everybody should be including in their supplementation as a bodybuilder, as a gym goer. So let's dive in. I did get two little fun things, so we'll leave those till the end. But I've got four tubs of creatine monohydrate. This one is from Naughty Boy. I've never tried this one, but creatine is creatine. It was honestly the cheapest on the website for the amount you get. So these are all... 300 grams we both take five grams a day so four of these will do us a while and then another absolute staple for me especially because i do have ibs and obviously digestion is top priority um glutamine so i take two scoops of glutamine john takes one so i managed to find 500 i think yeah 500 gram tubs from applied nutrition if it'll focus so just plain glutamine, unflavored. I always get these things unflavored because I just don't want anything to be triggering my stomach. Like especially in prep, I don't use any sweeteners. So unflavored creatine, unflavored glutamine. So I've also got four of these. So they will definitely last us. We usually go through about a tub a month. Same with creatine, it's usually a tub a month. So we should be perfectly stocked up for the four months. Um, then on the last of the powders is something I take every single day and I've noticed massive, massive differences in my digestion and that is greens. This one is my absolute favourite from row one. You can also get it on my core supplements and you can use my code Olivia on that website um, for 10% off your order. That's where I order all of my supplements like when I'm actually paying for them myself. It's always from my core next day delivery and prices are great and they just have a lot of products I can't actually get here. This is why this um, haul is a little bit plain because it's just staples and essentials that any supplement shop would have. But then things I really, really like, um, I always get off my court. But these are the fruits and greens from Rule One in mixed berry. So they are a little pricey. This is why I love being able to get this in this box because obviously sponsored and B, they are discounted since it's a wholesaler's price. So I managed to pick up two of these. So I should be stocked up for three months because I one tub usually lasts me about a month and a half. Because I never take a full scoop, I just don't feel like I need it. Then I have four, again, four tubs of vitamin D3K2. Absolute staple, especially if you live in Ireland. No sunshine. Then I've also got a tub of biotin. I take biotin every single day and I have to say I have noticed differences in my skin. My hair has been growing like crazy. I'm doing my roots every like three weeks now, especially with all the shows. So biotin is an absolute staple. And then, uh, not lastly, but nearly lastly, I didn't get much, but like it does add up since we got four tubs of creatine, four tubs of glutamine, two tubs of greens, the price just ranks up. But obviously, you know I don't use sweeteners. <clears throat> you know I don't use sweeteners, but stevia is a very natural sweetener and I feel like it shouldn't hurt my stomach. So post show, I definitely want to try stevia. So I don't like the taste of normal stevia, but I found this French vanilla liquid stevia. And I feel like it would be amazing in like oats. So we're gonna give that a try. And then we've got two little fun bits because you do need to order something fun. Um, one of my favorite spreads, 
the Nut Love Spreads from Our Nutrition. I've had them before and they're amazing, but this is a flavor I've always wanted to try and just couldn't get my hands on it anywhere. So this is white chocolate peanuts, like a white Reese's or a white Snickers. And then we've also got a tab of mini PhD protein bars. So they're actually perfect. I thought I ordered the big ones. I thought I ordered 12 big proper protein bars, but it came in a box of 24 of small ones. So it's pretty much half a protein bar, which is amazing if you just want a little snack. Bump up your protein by like 10 grams for just 100 calories. These little mini ones are the goat and their white chocolate blondie flavor, which is one of my favorites from these. And speaking of protein bars, um, obviously you're gonna have to stay tuned for the show day vlog, but we have some nice protein bars we're gonna be trying post show. And we've just got a lot of it. So I'm gonna be honest, like our plan for post show is a massive bowl of oats. But not just a plain bowl of oats, it's going to be loaded. We've got the white Snickers protein to go into it. And then we actually have a whole bowl of things we're going to put into it. Obviously, we're not going to be eating all of this. Whatever doesn't get eaten, either gets eaten by somebody else in the house or it just goes into storage for when we want it ever again post-show. But we've just got things like Kinder Bars, um, some other white chocolate. We're going to try the Raffaello. I've, never, I've tried the Ferrero, it was amazing. Um, and we just got little bits like that, like we got some little mueslis to put on top of our oats, because we're having oats and yogurt bowls, so that'll probably go in the yogurt bowl. And I've really been craving yogurt coated peanuts and raisins, so that's what we have. And then obviously we have the protein bars, and then I've got one of my favorite caramel milks. So it's definitely gonna be a loaded bowl of oats. But as I said, we're not going to eat all of this. And John also has some biscuits he brought from Italy when I was competing at the Amateur O, so he's going to give these a try. And yes, that's our plan for post-show. A massive loaded bowl of oats and a nice yogurt bowl with my Alpro coconut yogurt. And like that's the thing, the show will be over at like 4pm. We're going to head back home, we're going to scrub the tan off, we're going to eat our massive bowl of oats, we're going to eat our yogurt and we're going to go to bed because I'm back to work on Monday. So. There's not going to be much room to stuff our faces, which is good because John has another show next weekend and we do have a whole off-plan weekend next week um, to kind of celebrate the end of shows, the end of prep, um, our anniversary, his birthday, etc, etc. So we're having a massive, massive um, off-plan weekend, which obviously will be on the vlog. And then we're going to go back into a little five-day prep for our photo shoot. So that is the plan of action. But right now I need to go get another meal in. It is currently 10 to 3, so I'm going to get that meal in and then we're going to head off to 10. Also, my coach might be staying with us tonight, so stay tuned. So my mom is sleeping, so we're going to keep this quiet. And I just remembered I have to do my eyebrows before I go, I completely forgot. I'll do it after I eat. But we got our next meal. Rice cakes, 60 grams of chicken, 20 grams of nut butter, and another one and final squares best for today and two grams of salt which brings the total to six grams and that's all of the salt for today we're about four liters deep into my water so i've got two liters left in the next two hours which is perfect a liter per hour and yeah so you'll notice the difference between this one day out and my other one day out the carbs are a lot lower and then my next meals have no carbs just because we have been increasing food daily throughout the week like we brought my carbs up all the way to 190 which is quite high for me um that's why we're taking it a bit easier today just fill out during the day and then kind of start depleting into the evening start obviously the water cut happens at five so yeah we're, we're gonna look even better then i did check in there a while ago forgot to take a picture honestly this is the best i've ever looked this is the biggest gloop i've ever had and mike says i look better than british finals already so it's exciting. I'm very excited to see the look dry tomorrow. Um, John also had another meal while I was doing bits upstairs. It was the exact same as the meal you saw him having. Um, just mine, so square as well. So, yeah, I'm going to eat these rice cakes and a little bit of chicken and say goodbye to carbs for today. And then we'll be heading off to Tan in the next hour. Final sip of water for John. 3 p.m. Last bit of water until tomorrow. Until tomorrow after the show, yeah. And keep in mind, we're getting fuck all sleep tonight because the Olympia is going to be on until like 4 a.m. My mouth is going to be so dry. Yeah. Horrible. One. Finish. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. <laughs>
take a good look at us because we won't be this happy in about an hour. We're just about to go get her tan. I'm up first and then it's John's turn. And I'll have to check in while you're in there. Disabled bathroom. It's big. To be honest, the female bathroom is very nice as well. And Here. I'm just sipping away on the last bit of water. That's all I've left for the next 40 minutes or so. How do you feel? Good. Good. Mm -hmm. The hotel's nice and warm, so it shouldn't be too bad. It's the exact same location I had my tan last year, so we're good. I'm all done. Tanned up. I've decided not to tan my face because I don't want to go to work with the orange face again. You're up next. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get my face done. There he is. I didn't know it was going to be. <laughs> I heard you talking to Shane. How are we? I don't know if I'm dry. Oh yeah, I'm, I think I've messed it up like, underneath this already. Yeah, I'm the same. When I'm leading over like this, I feel it's like okay, creepy. top go, we'll fix it up. Yeah. So we look absolutely amazing. It is time to eat again. So it's six o'clock right now. Time to eat. We're on to protein fats. John's already on protein fats. He just had a bit of chicken nut butter. And I have the exact same right now. So we have... 80 grams of just cooked chicken breast, no salt, nothing like that. And 20 grams of peanut butter, and that is literally it. It's also the same as my next meal at 9 p.m., but by then my coach will be here um, to have a look at me in person. So, yeah, 6 p.m. Not long now, not long now. I'm getting excited, I'm getting very excited, but there's still a lot to do. I have to do my eyebrows, I have to do my toenails. I have to pack my shoulder bag and we need to prep our massive bowl of oats. So when we're doing that, I'm going to show you all the toppings that we got for our oats for tomorrow. But yeah, I need to eat. I'm very, very hungry. Tell me it's Olympia weekend without telling me it's Olympia weekend. Bikini's on. <laughs> Laura Lee has to win. Are you a Laura Lee fan, girl? If Laura Lee doesn't win, I give up bodybuilding. Who's your favorite bodybuilder? Bikini. No, no, Connor. <laughs> good, good choice, good choice. Laura Lee Tapato. That's call out. First call out? Yes, first call out. Top 10. You nervous? Yeah. Oh, there's Laura. That's Laura Lee. Alright, well, Stands the out. judges are looking our ladies over. We'd like to hear from the Hear from you, the fans here at the Olympia. That's enough, I'm not editing all those clips. Olympia is still playing in the background, but we've just prepped our oats. John has 150 grams soaking. I have 100 grams soaking. And we also have a small little 35 grams of the Quaker Biscoff oats, because I want to give them a try. And then this is our array of toppings. We've got all the chocolates that I showed you earlier. We've got protein bars. So the Polish sweets, so fiber one bars, everything I showed you earlier really. And obviously for the star of the show, Biscoff. To add a bit of nutrients to it, we are going Snickers white chocolate caramel and peanut. So excited to try this. I've heard, I've heard both good things and bad things about this. So stay tuned for tomorrow's taste test. So I'll be trying the new white Oreo grenade bars. So you're just gonna stay tuned for the show day vlog to see us try all this, scoff all this. It's going to be a nice feast. And I did tell you we're having yogurt bowls as well. So this is the one I've been talking about, the Coconut All Pro. I had it after my show in England, was it? Uh, yeah, Birmingham. Birmingham, yeah, and it was delicious. So that's what we're doing. But for now we need to focus on show day. So yeah, we've got one more meal to go for me. Two for John? No, one. one. One more meal to go, chicken, peanut butter again, and we're waiting to Mike for Mike to arrive. So he'll be here in about two hours. Currently 9 p.m. on show day eve, and our final meals are going in. 80 grams of chicken, 20 grams of peanut butter for me. 120 chicken, 20 grams of peanut butter. And our double espresso. Happy show day eve. Happy show day eve. So weird saying on the same day. I know. I was just saying earlier we're at tan. It's so fun doing all this together. Aren't you glad we did it now? Yeah, I'm glad. I wasn't gonna do it. 
So POA for the evening. Um, I'm going to eat this, obviously. Then do my toenails, do my eyebrows, and then I'm going to pack my show day bag. So I will show you my bag before I go to bed. And then we'll probably hop on for a quick little chat for the Olympia final start. It is 11 p.m. The bag is being packed. All the bags. Makeup laid out for the morning so I don't have to think and look for stuff. My coach is downstairs with John chatting away and we're all about to get some sleep or take a nap before bikini finals for the Olympia. But yeah, in a couple of hours, we're gonna be rocking the stage one by one. John up first at 11 a.m. and then I'm on about 2.30. So I hope you enjoy the one day out vlog. Make sure to give it a like, drop a comment, hit the subscribe button, head over to Instagram, follow me there, and obviously stay tuned for the show day vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao. I didn't get to say goodbye, so bye. <laughs>